what is going on guys welcome back to another android application development video in android studio in this video we are going to create a chat gpt generate image application so from this application we will generate any image with the help of open ai by sending just a text so i will show you the example so let's say tiger with iphone click on generate so as you can see tiger is in with iPhone you can generate any of the image like moon with eyes and ear so as you can see it can generate anything so let's build this application from a start let's get started with new project click on new project empty activity and give the name easy image generator Select language as Java, minimum SDK as API 23, click on finish. Our project is loaded. First, we will go to manifest and add the internet usage permission. So go to manifest and usage permission, internet. Close the manifest, go to activity main.xml, click on split. Say hello to this hello world and delete it. Make this constant layout as a relative layout. First we will design the screen and we will add the implementation. We will make the simple design. We don't want to make a complex UI. So let's get started. Let's create a text view first. Wrap content, wrap content. Text will be generate image now. Text size will be 30 SP. And I will center it in horizontal true. ID I will give as text view for now. Below this we will make a linear layout where we will add one edit text, one button, one progress bar and one image view. So let's add linear layout, width will be match parent, height will be wrap content and inside that I will give orientation as vertical so that we will add vertically. Let's create a edit text first, edit text, width will be match parent, height will be wrap content. I will give the hint right here so you can see over here. I will center this linear layout so center vertical will be true and gravity also center so this is our edit text we'll give the padding about 12 dp and we'll give the margin vertical 20 dp below this let's create a button so i will use material button width will be match parent height will be about 60 dp here is the button text will be generate padding will be 12 dp id we will give as generate btn now i need one progress bar so that we can show the progress and one image view to show the image so let's add progress bar width will be match parent height will be 60 dp id will be progress circular and uh, tint i will give indeterminate tint as a primary color so design default color primary so that color will be same so now below this i will make an image view to show the image so image view width will be about 256 dp height will be 256 dp id will be image view i'll give some margin top 40 dp and I will give some color for now like uh, black we can change the color from here let's say custom some gray color okay and I will give the margin on this relative layout about 20 dp from every side so our application designing is completed let's run it and test it how it is looking our application is looking good we have to change this primary color we have to remove this action bar and we have to remove this visibility of this progress bar so first thing progress bar visibility will be gone and uh, let's go to resource you know, values themes themes.xml let's make it no action bar on both of no action bar so now action bar will be removed now let's change the primary color so this is our primary color i will change this purple 200 to a red one 
this one also 500 to 600 red one and this one 700 red let's run it and see how it is looking so it is looking better now so we have removed the action bar so now let's implement the code in main activity dot java so let's go to main activity here let's initialize all those views we we have edit text input text we can give material button we generate button progress bar progress bar image view image view now provide the id input text equals to find view by idr dot id dot we have not given the id for edit text let's go and give the id over here input text let's get back to this and input text generate button id dot generate button progress bar id dot progress so we have not given the id for progress bar also but we have given progress circular let's change it to progress bar and over here r dot id dot progress bar it is visible now image view r dot id dot image view now on click of generate button we'll get the text so here generate button dot set on click listener i will use the lambda expression so on click of this what we will do we will get the text text equals to input text dot get text dot to string dot trim so we'll get that text in our text string let's check if text dot is empty if it is empty we can set the error so input text dot set error text can't be empty we'll return from here if it is not empty we'll call the api we'll pass the text we have not created this method we'll create this method over here call api which will take the string text we'll make it void so here we will do the api call now let's run the application and check how it is working till now if i write if i don't write anything and click on generate it is showing error that is text can't be empty if i write something it will go to this call api method so our app is working now we will add the library to call the api library you can use volley library or ok http in this video i am using ok http now go to google search for ok http android go to this link and you can read the documentation copy this implementation line from here copy this one go to your project in build.gradle module file over here paste that so we have added ok http library click on sync now now go to main activity you can check the documentation over here how to call the api so i will copy these two lines first we need this post to a server so i will copy this here we can paste it and import all this now we have to call the post method so i will not copy it from here i will write by own so let's go to call api method and first create a request body so request body will be our json object so json object json body i will give the name new json object and i will put something in this json body so what to put we have to check the api first so which api we are calling so we have to call some api to generate the image from our text so we are using open ai api so so go to google and search for open ai api go to this site here you can see explore the api option click on get started If you have already created the account you can log in or if you have not created the account you can create your account i have already created so i will log in so from here you can go to api reference over here click on images over here you can see this url so we need this url and this request body so in request body we need prompt n size response format and user so here we will be using prompt and size so let's go to our project here json body dot put 
we will add prompt the prompt will be our text json body dot put we'll add size size will be 256 x 256 so here it will give error because you have to add it inside try catch so try put it inside try catch exception e will print the exception that's it so we have defined the json body from this we will make the request body so request body request body equals to request body dot create json body dot to string second thing you need is this media type that is our json so just pass that json over here that's it we have now request body now from this we have to make a request so that we can call the api so request request equals to new request we will make a builder pattern builder dot url what is the url you can go to open ai and copy the url from here this is the url dot we need header also i will put header just now we need post as body request body and we will build so we need header what is the header header is the api key that is provided by the open ai so to generate the api key you have to go over here you can see view api keys click on that and here create a new secret key so click on that copy this api key because once you close this you will not get again so i have copied it go back to the project in header write as authorization and second parameter value will be bearer space paste that so we have to write bearer one space and the api key that's it we have also added the header now we just have to call the api so to call the api we have client dot new call we have to pass the request dot in queue so that we will get the callback new callback click on enter so we have two method over here on failure and on response on failure we will just show the message toast dot make text we will say failed to generate image length will be long dot show that's it on failure we have to just show the message so if we got the response what we will do is let's log the response so log dot i response it will be response dot body dot string so let's see what response comes so we have written the call api method where we have added url and the header correctly now we are calling the api let's test what we will get as a response so run it i will open the log cat and let's write test click on generate so as you can see we have some response that is response we have the json object where we have one is created one is data and inside data we have json array where we have url let's copy this url and open in browser so as you can see we have test image so our image is being generated now let's get this url from this json object and put it in an image view so for that what i will do first is i will convert this body to a json object json object equals to new json object response dot body dot string i have to put it in try catch so in catch exception e e dot print so once i get the json object what i will do i will put it in image url so image url equals to from json object first i will get json array since we have the json array of object that is data and inside that json array we can see in log cat we have first element that is this object so this is the json object inside data so dot get json object index will be zero first element and we will get this string so get a string the name is url 
in this way we will get this image url inside this image url string now we have to load this image url in our image view that's it so we will write load image image url so we have to create the method for loading the image so void load image it will take the url load image so here we will load the image so loading the image from url to the image view we need some library so we have glide library we have picasso library i will use the picasso library go to google search for picasso library android go to this website and you can copy the dependency so from here copy this go to build.gradle paste it over here click on sync now now we can use this library so to load the image we will use picasso dot get so we have picasso dot get dot load url into target will be our image view that's it it will load the url to our image view now this load image method we are calling from callback function so we have to do it in ui thread so run on ui thread we need one method we will use lambda so inside this run on ui thread i will cut this and paste it so once we call from this callback method we will run on ui thread so let's run it and test it it is working or not so first we will write test generate so as you can see the image is generated and test written over here in this way i can write cat with the laptop Let's click on generate so image is generated so as you can see when i click on generate button it is taking some time to call the api and load the image so i will use that progress bar to show the progress so we have this progress bar over here when we call the api progress bar should be visible and when we get the response it should be invisible so let's make a method for that void set in progress will take a boolean value in progress so if in progress we can make a progress bar dot set visibility visible and generate button we will set it as gone same way if it is not in progress we will do opposite of it progress bar will be gone generate button will be visible so when we call the api we should make it visible so set in progress will be true and when we get the response it will be set in progress will be false so in the same way we are calling it from callback method so we have to put it on run on ui thread i will cut this out and paste it over here so our progress bar should also be visible let's run it let's generate some tiger eating grass with phone on hand click on generate progress bar is visible now you can see tiger is eating grass and we have phone on hand so in this way you can generate anything from here so let's write something horse watching movie in moon with rabbit let's generate it so in this way you can make your app which will generate any image for you in this way you can generate any image from your application we are using openai api so you can check usage over here from billing or from usage you can check your usage we have 18 dollar as free credit i have used only 0 0.83 dollar so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye